Kano, Nigeria, and step two of Colonel Gaddafi's West African tour to join celebrations marking the Muslim New Year, which begins today. An international outcast, the Libyan leader was nevertheless warmly greeted by Nigeria's military ruler, General Sani Abacha, also under attack from the rest of the world. The U.S. is furious about this trip, which appears to violate the U.N. air embargo on Libya. The State Department has dismissed the religious justification as bull. West Africans, it says, don't need Gaddafi to lead them in prayer. But that hasn't deterred Gaddafi from making his customary attacks on the West. On his previous stop in Niger, he rejected UN resolutions against his country. If world leaders really wanted peace, he said, they should live by God's resolutions. He used the occasion of Friday prayers in Kano to renew the assault. The forces of NATO and of Zionism were advancing on Mecca and Medina, he told worshippers. Muslims, he said, must be vigilant. Gaddafi's tour follows a series of violations of the air embargo in recent years. The Americans regard it as a calculated insult by one of their oldest enemies. They'll now be taking the matter up at the UN Security Council, but it's a move unlikely to worry the Libyan leader.